Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to ARK. I apologize for being gone so long. This time it wasn't because I was being lazy. I actually was having some hardware issues. Um, today I'm going to be playing in low memory mode, so there might be some graphical errors. I do apologize in advance, but um, with the newer equipment and the ambient temps rising, my system is actually getting a little hotter than I feel comfortable with. I've got new fans on the way because the current ones I have in my system are pretty shit. Um, I still need to order my new CPU fan. After six months, it's already going out. It does have me a little miffed. Intel, shame on you. You should have better quality equipment than that. I paid big monies, okay? I, I demand to get what I paid for. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm going to, you know, get the Evo 212 and yada yada. Uh, it's barely going to fit in my case. I'm going to have like a quarter of an inch left of room in my case, so <laughs> it's going to be a fun adventure installing that shit. Um, anyways, I did do some recordings for you guys, and I'm sorry I couldn't salvage them because um, they were super bad quality. Um, my headphones just developed the worst, th they just had the worst static and buzzing in them, and it was super loud in the recordings. I did do ones on the cave and everything, and I was really disappointed when I couldn't post any of my videos. I'm so sorry. I felt so bad. I was so frustrated, too, because I did all that work and didn't realize the issue until they were done. Um, it's just because the X11 and X12s, I Google searched it. Apparently, they've got some serious EMI issues, as well as... Um, the, uh, the manufacturer themselves have stated this. I found it on their website under their help section. Um, I think it was like under support or something, but they said, you know, the X12s and X11s as well as some other models um, do not exactly play nice with others um, when they're plugged into a MOBO that's sharing power with a lot of other devices. I don't understand the science of it. I don't understand how it affects it, something to do with the power not being isolated or something. Um, but they said that the only way to fix it is to either unplug some things from your MOBO, which I couldn't because it was stuff I needed, like my mouse and my keyboard and then my, you know, GPU. Um, they said, or just get it a USB wall adapter. I went to Walmart, paid 15 bucks, got a USB wall adapter, an extension cord. It was awesome. It worked. My headset's never been clear. I'm very happy. Um, it's not an uncommon issue at all. Um, like I said, Google kind of blew up with this. So apparently it's very common and everybody is just like, everyone in all the posts were just like, yo, just get a wall adapter. Just trust me. It'll save you a lot of headache. Um, so I just did that. And like I said, it paid off really well. It was only 15 bucks too. And I can use it for future things, not just my headset. So I'm very happy about that. Like if my phone charger dies, I can, you know, use this uh, USB adapter I bought. So I'm really happy. Um, I didn't use my phone one because I like to kind of keep um, hardware for each thing individually. I don't know. I'm kind of OCD. But, um... And then I had another issue, too, where I had zip-tied some wires together to clean up my case, and it actually caused my system to go into an infinite restarting and shutting off loop that was very fast. Um, people were definitely saying to check the power cords, because a lot of the times um, when people zip-tie their case, and I did find a lot of other posts on it, um, they'll accidentally tweak the power or a memory module or something, and they need to undo everything and put it back together to actually fix the issue, because it's kind of hard to trace it down what it was, and like I said, well... Actually, I don't know if I said this, but I tried, you know, like I, I tried tracing everything down just by like, you know, checking all the plugs, before, you know, with, blah, 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 without undoing them completely. And I couldn't really find the issue. So I just took it apart, um, tested everything one by one until it uh, stopped resetting as often. It started resetting after I just plugged in the MOBO. I just plugged in the MOBO the SATA and the CPU, and after that it only started resetting every 30 seconds. That's when I realized it was doing the same thing as some of those other people's and resetting the CMOS fixed it for them, so I did it, and lo and behold, it fixed it. So apparently if you tweak the power or do anything that kind of causes the motherboard to freak out, sometimes, sometimes, not always, um, the motherboard will not recognize that the hardware issue has been fixed or that the hardware is actually compatible, and you'll have to reset the CMOS to tell the motherboard Hey, yo, it's good. The changes have been made. You're fine. Calm down. So, um, a little hard to explain. Don't want to go too much into it. But for any of you who have had this issue, like I said, lots of other people have had this issue happen when they were fixing their wires. I found other posts on Tom's Hardware where people said, I zip-tied, now my computer's doing this. Um, a lot of people reset and the CMOS fixed it or fixing the RAM, you know, the RAM slot, something like that. So, if you've ever had an issue with this, um, I'm going to go ahead and link the forum post, um in the description and if you want to just get to the gist of it if you just want to know the details how I fixed it um, how I got help yada yada just scroll down to the I believe it's the unless there's been more more replies on it it's um, the third and second to last post where I explained everything in detail and it was after the guy had told me what I had done that messed it up and why we're setting the CMOS fixed it so um, I'll link it like I said 
Uh, you can read the whole thing. If not, just scroll down to the bottom and read the last couple comments, and you'll uh, get to the gist of it. So hopefully it'll help you guys. It helped me. I was freaked out. I thought I had fried my system. I was like, how? I grounded myself. You know, this doesn't make any sense. I've worked on my mobile plenty of times. Um, obviously nothing broke, or I wouldn't be on right now. You know, if I had fried anything, I wouldn't be using my PC right now. So the good news is, is whatever it was, it was fixable. It was just I had tweaked something and redoing the wires and reset, and it was good. So anyways... Um, so long intro, I do apologize for that, lots of catching up to do. So, this patch, they added in three new dinos. They added in the Wooly Rhino, which I've already found one of. Um, unfortunately it was only level 8, so I'm not going to keep it. Um, I am going to go look for a higher level 1. But they also added in the Dunkleosteus, I think is how you say it, or Dunkleosteus or something. And then the Europe Terrid, and the Europe Terrid is nothing too fancy. I'll show you if I find one while I'm looking for the Dunkleo. Um, otherwise, it's not too special. It looks like a lobster, and it functions like the trilobite. It drops uh, silica pearls and black pearls. Now, the black pearls are not in use yet, and I don't even know if they drop yet. They're extremely rare, and they will be used in the next tier of engineering. Engineering, or crafting, I guess? I don't know. Too much World of Warcraft. I'm calling everything engineering that involves crafting. Um, anyways, so yeah, nothing too fancy. Um, the Dunkleosius is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to have to spawn in an Ascendant uh, Long Neck Rifle because I have not found even a Ramshackle one, and I keep opening all the crates I can find. Um, but it takes 100 Trank Darts from an Ascendant Long Neck Rifle to knock that thing out. The good news is is it only takes a couple Kibble to Tame, and it likes the uh, Titanoboa. And then um, it takes... Someone said it took no narcotics. So uh, seems like it's going to take a long time to knock out but it should be a fairly easy tame. They said that its turning radius is so bad that you literally just swim in circles and knock it out, and it's super easy. So, cool beans. And the woolly rhino is just a standard tame. Just don't let it charge you. Hop up on a rock or uh, dodge out of its way when it charges you. Um, pretty standard tame, pretty standard kibble. You know, it's a, like nine hours for a higher level. You know, it's, like I said, standard tame. Um, pretty cool thing, though. I'm excited for the woolly rhino. So, anyways, um, enough chit-chat. I'm done. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go look for... A woolly rhino first, and then I will get back to you guys, all right? Alrighty, guys. Um, I did actually not go find a rhino or, uh, right away. I forgot to prepare. I didn't have the kibble on me. So I, uh, I went ahead. I got some, uh, I got the saddles made for them. Um, I think the Dunkleys was 20, and then the woolly rhino saddles 24 points. Um, I went and got those made, got a couple, uh, narcotics out of storage, some trank darts, and I put everything on, uh, Wallaby Jones up there, my, uh, 180 RG. Um, I got really lucky, and when I went to my breeding grounds to drop my Quetzal off a while ago, um, I had actually found a couple beavers in there, and they had built a dam, so I got a whole bunch of cementing paste from it. Um, I think I mentioned this earlier, but damn, I'm happy they made um, Titanoboa eggs useful. <laughs> Everybody was like, when are they going to add the dino? Oh, real quick though, before I actually go find a rhino, I wanted to show you guys. So the saddles, right here, Dunkleo, they cost ver a very similar amount. The Dunkleo is a little more expensive, but they cost the exact same ingredients. The only real valuable stuff in here is the cementing paste. The rest you can see is shit you'll just end up getting along your way when leveling so not difficult saddles to make which is very very good very happy about that um i did i did spawn in an ascendant rifle for the dunkleo just to see how many darts it takes and uh like i said i grabbed a couple extra darts and um narcotics from my box um i think i'm pretty much out of supplies so i'll need to make some more after this excursion but i did spawn in the gun just to try it i want to see if it actually does like, if we do find a high level, I actually really do want to see how many it takes with an Ascendant. Because if it takes 100 for a 120 with an Ascendant, that's pretty crazy shit right there. So, um, not going to put the kibble on the bird at the risk of him eating it. Because um, I heard that they'll eat the best food in their slot, even though he's got meat on him. So, I'll just keep it on me. It's not too heavy anyway. So, uh, we'll go ahead and head out. And uh, we'll start our adventure. We'll be RBs again, guys. Alright guys, uh, hopefully you can't hear my fan in the background, I do have it turned on, um, but I um, I did finally find one that was above level 8 or 16, I, I swear I could only find ones that were level 8 and 16, um, got him knocked out, wasn't too bad, I think it took only about 15 shots, um, I am playing currently with infinite stats and god mode on, as I forgot my winter gear and I almost died, so my bad, and I was too lazy to go back or spawn any in, so... Um, you guys know, though, this isn't a dick measuring contest for me. This is just for fun. Um, but I found one that was level 72, so not too bad. He still hasn't eaten yet, and he's been knocked out for a while. Apparently, low-level versions of these guys take, like, nine hours to tame. So that's 
I don't know what's with the devs and thinking someone should have to babysit a virtual pet for 10 hours or whatever until it tames. I just, I find that a little silly, to be honest, which is why I have the tame timers turned up. So that's just my two cents. Anyways, after killing these guys, I noticed that they dropped a certain item. It's, um, woolly rhino horn, and it's kind of like the, R ooh, it's kind of like the RG claws and stuff like that, like, uh, the talons. And I'm assuming it says used in very specialized recipes. I'm not sure what it's going to be used for. I'm actually wondering if it's going to be used also as a summoning item for the new bosses they'll be adding in. Very, very curious. Very curious. Um, so anyways, we're going to let this guy tame up. Now, I did do part of this with infinite stats and god mode turned off. I wanted to test to see how hard he could hit. He himself doesn't do too much damage. Um, they have to get a really good running start, I guess, to deal a lot of damage. Their uh, damage is charge-based. And he was just kind of poking me up on a rock. You know, he didn't really have a whole lot of room to hit me. But their hit range is fucking huge. So you do have to be careful, because if you're up on a rock and they do manage to hit you, you'll get launched off and almost die from just the fall, like I did. But the initial hit, if they can't charge, really doesn't hurt too bad. So it wasn't too bad. Um... Uh, but like I said, their hit range is gargantuan, so you just need to be careful if you're doing it up on a rock. Make sure you're up high enough. Like, like say up on there, that's probably good range where he would not be able to hit you very well. Um, so, but yeah. Um, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna let this guy tame up. I'll let you guys how I'll let you guys know how long it takes. Like I said, I have the taming timer maxed out, so it goes faster. But even then, you can see he's only eaten once, and I've probably had him knocked out for at least eight almost 10 minutes now. No, probably more like 8 minutes total. Um, but yeah, so he's going to be a little bit of a longer tame. Um, I remember the wiki said that a level 36 or something was like 9 hours, something crazy. It was like the beaver time or so. Anyways, going to tame him up. We'll get back to you. See you in a bit. Alright, guys. Our woolly rhino finally tamed out. Um, I'm going to check something real quick. Let's see. It took... 45 minutes to tame him. Um, I want to name him. Hmm. <laughs> Share. Um, let's name him David Bowie. Just because I really miss David Bowie. I was so sad when I heard about his passing. So. His memory will live on in my woolly rhino. No, but seriously. I think it's a cool name. Um. <laughs> we could always change it later, I guess. Uh, anyways, I built this thing around it because I was scared there was wolves. Um, okay, so yeah. So like I said, it took about 50 minutes to tame. It took 11 kibble. 11 terror bird kibble. And uh, that's with the taming timer turned all the way up. And it did use all of my... Um, <laughs> It did use all of my narcotics I put on him. Um, not not the stack of 100, but the original 94 I put on him. Um, you probably wouldn't go through that much with the tamer or with the taming settings set the way that they are. Um, but I, you know, just in case I have to walk away to go to the bathroom or whatever, and I don't want to stop the timer, I usually just like to top my dinos off just so that way they won't wake up when I'm going to the restroom or getting food or something. So um, yeah, so 50 minutes, 94 narcos, and 11 uh, kibble. So, cool beans. I'm going to go ahead and destroy this. I, um, we'll get checking on the Dunkleosis in a sec. I may have knocked this guy out for funsies just because I was bored as all hell. And now I'm trying to wake him up. I had to spawn in Stimberry, so, uh, it could be, uh, just a minute. <laughs> Anyways, I figure while we wait, we could take a look at this big guy. Alright, let's check this big guy out. Oh, <laughs> poor Wallaby Jones tries to wake up. Definitely has a huge turning radius. Oh my god, he's very slow. Whoa! What was that? Oh! Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? Look, he's got a... It looks like the um, Giganato's Enrage Meter. It's his charge meter for damage. Oh, he builds speed as he runs! That was a mammoth I knocked out. Um, That's crazy. How much did it hurt? Oh my god. Look at how much damage that did, charging. Holy shit, how much health does that thing have? Oh, that's almost 2k damage just because of charging. Holy shit, guys, look at this dude. He builds, he builds, he builds, he builds. And look, he gets faster and faster. Faster. And then, whoop, bam He hits something. 
That's crazy. Now, I don't know if you have to, like, to charge something to kill it. I don't know if you have to hit the attack button or if he's charging, like, he'll automatically deal the damage when he runs into it. I'm not quite sure. I'm assuming you have to hit the attack button, but the faster you're going, so, like, the higher the meter, the more damage you do. Does this right click do anything? Nah, no right click. It'd have been cool to get kind of, like, a, a stomping animation or something for the right click, like a pissed off animation. I don't know. That would have been cool. Look at this thing. This is awesome. And I like that he can build his uh his charge while he's going like around corners and stuff. So oh now I'm stuck on a rock. That's really cool that he can still build it while turning. I like that. I like that a lot. That is awesome. Wow, that is cool. So I can see how this guy would be good. He's got a lot of health. Um he's look at his weight. He's got better weight than a freaking mammoth. Um that's amazing. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna finish waking up Wallaby Jones and uh <laughs> then we'll get going on the Dunkleo, okay? See you in a bit. Okay, guys, I have to show this to you, but I gotta get my stamina up first. Let's head, start heading in. These guys are amazing. When you charge them, if you hit just in time, you can literally kill everything in one hit. This is amazing. Just watch. Let's see. Don't run out of stam. Don't run out of stam. Just watch. Bam! Bam! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! <laughs> Devs, you guys did a fucking good job on this dino. This is great. Like, this is just way too much fun. Like, I love you guys. Okay, I promise we're getting to the Dunkleo now, alright? Alright guys, here we are. Um, <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm looking for one, um, a Dunkley, as well as those little lobster things, the Yurpterids. I don't know exactly where they spawn. Are they down here at all? No, let's just try those. Um, I just realized, and you guys are probably like seriously face bombing this whole time. I just realized I've been saying that you use an Ascendant Long Neck Rifle on the Dunkley. No, no, no. You use the rifle on the Rhino. You use an Ascendant Crossbow on the Dunkleosis. I'm sorry. I was just kind of like... I just kind of tunnel, you know, just uh, <laughs> tunneled uh, in, my, in my thinking. And I was just kind of thinking to use a Long Neck Rifle for both. And uh, you can't use a Long Neck Rifle underwater, so forgive me. It's an Ascendant Crossbow. That requires a hundred arrows to bring the Dunkleo down when it's a 120. Okay, I'm so sorry. I feel like such a fucking retard. Um, I, yeah, I was just kind of saying it wrong. So only use the rifle on the rhino, okay guys? Anyways, I'm gonna look for one of these fuckers and we'll be back. I can't keep myself from dying underwater. I, I don't know what's going on. The second I take um, infinite stats off, I immediately like lose my health. And it's weird because I'm not freezing to death. I'm just cold. So I don't know what exactly is going on. I didn't feel like bringing any of my water dinos out because they are fucking annoying to steer. Um, I really don't like riding the Plesio or the Moza, so probably should have taken an angler, but ugh, mine are so weak they would have just died. Uh, so anyways, uh, I'll be back again. Okay guys, I found a Dunkleo already. I thought they would swim at the bottom of the ocean. Apparently they swim very close to the surface. Um, oh, my game locked up. Where is she? There she is. Uh, she looks like she's fairly quick, but people say she's slow, so I do not have god mode on. I just have infinite stats because I couldn't keep myself from dying um, under the water over there. It was way too cold, but uh, I'm going to try it now without infinite stats. See uh, how hard she is. If we have any struggles, we can always turn it back on, but people are saying she's pretty easy to solo, so we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. She's level 68. We've got an ascended crossbow. We're going to see how long she takes with an ascendant and how many arrows. Um, like I said, I have infinite off, so we should be good in, uh, the department of arrows actually being consumed. She's running away from me. What's the deal? Four? No, three? Sorry. Oh, God. Here she comes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Definitely not possible. People are saying you could outswim them because they don't turn very well. Bullshit! Bullshit! Oh, maybe now I can. Before I couldn't. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. <laughs> I'm halfway. Oh, so this is the never ending loop. You gotta get them in. Okay, I see. So if you can if you can get her to get in a loop like this, that's when you can solo tame her. Just keep swimming like this. I think I might be doing too many arrows too quick, you know what I mean? Just 
wait a little longer in between. Oop. Alright, let's see. I might cut out, actually, <laughs> how many it takes to get her. Alright, guys, so you can see she's down and out for the count. She almost died from this, though. That's some crazy-ass torpor, especially having to use a crossbow to do it. Um, I don't know how often she eats. Someone said that with the taming timer turned all the way up, she'll only eat twice at level 120, so I really don't know. What is this? Oh, this is the dead Megalodon. Um, so, I started with 150 tranks. And now I'm at 72. I did put about 10 to 15 in a couple Megalodons, give or take a few. Um, just because it was easier to knock them out in a couple hits than it was to try and kill them while trying to knock this thing out. I did have to turn infinite stats on. I actually ran out of stamina through the process of trying to knock her out. And I did not bring a dino to ride. So I actually could not get on a dino and get my stamina back real quick. Unfortunately, so um, I did have to infinite stat. Um, it's off now. You can see my character is getting very hungry. Just kidding. She's like, oh, oh wow, she is getting hungry quick. Um, it's probably because I'm cold. Um, might be able to stand over there something and eat if I have to. Anyways, I'm not worried about it right now. I'm not hungry enough. Uh, but you can see I turned it off. I turned God and I turned infinite stat off. Um, I just had to turn it on. Uh, like I said, just to get my stamina back because I didn't bring a dino. So we'll have to see how long she takes and how much she eats uh, to get tamed up. But this is a cool looking creature. I, look at those teeth. It's like cartoon teeth. It's awesome. I love it. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Megalodons are fucking annoying. That's all I can say. They literally just were chasing me all over the place while I was trying to get her. So that's why I was knocking them out. Is that another one? I swear to Christ that that's another one. And it is. Is that the one I knocked out? That's another one I knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can see I had some issues. Um, anyways, I'll be beer. I'll uh, I'll blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> I'll burbs. Alrighty, guys, she tamed out. Um, I haven't named her yet. I'm not sure what to name her. That is a creepy ass face. It's in like low quality right now because I'm on the low memory. But oh my god, I can only imagine what that eye looks like. I noticed that about the plesia too. Plesia is fucking terrifying looking. Uh, anyways, so she tamed out at. 101. Where did the rest of the kibble go? Oh, she must have used it to heal up uh, when she tamed. That's weird. That's never happened before. I've never seen that happen before, actually. Anyways, the taming process actually only took five kibble. I really don't know where the other nine went. But she, um, on her last eat, she was at uh, four kibble used, so it was at 21, and then she tamed up, so she would have been at 20. Um, so five kibble for a level 68 with taming timers turned all the way up. No narcotics needed. And about 20 minutes to tame. So definitely shorter than the rhino. Um, I really don't know why she did that. I, I guess, yeah, I, I guess it's because she was trying to heal up or get her food meter all the way up. Um, so, you know, after she tamed up. So that's, uh, they'll just eat whatever's in their inventory if it's edible for them. So, um, but cool. So I'll go ahead and take that back. And I'm excited. What does her saddle look like? It's pretty cool looking. I think this is a cool looking fish. Oh, look at her. Oh, she's got a bad turning radius. That's all right, girly. Let's uh, take her out for a ride. I'm not sure how fast they are. Holy crap. Oh, I'm starving. Why is it that I can only eat steaks underwater when I'm riding my dino, but not when I'm just like chilling out, swimming? What? You think I can't eat a steak and swim? I'm pretty sure I can. Oh, she's a little... um. Her body doesn't really turn very well. She's just kind of like a stiff mover. It's a little, a little weird. She doesn't have a right click. That's her left click. Look at that bite. Ow. That's a sexy bite. Apparently these guys are supposed to be really, really good at gathering oil under the water. So let's see how she does. Oh, shit. 46 oil. <laughs> what stats did she tame out with? 2.9k. Um, wow, stamina and food. What the fuck, man? Holy shit. So, obviously, they're very hungry bears, and their stamina's not too great. Oh, look at that torpor, though. Melee damage isn't so bad. Look at that weight. Wow. Obviously, she's used for carrying. Um, let's go kill something and get her fed. Um, that's cool. I want to see what she looks like at the surface, to be honest. Let's see what she looks like up here. Let's go up to the top. boop a doop -a doo yeah, she moves a little stiff. Like, her body doesn't really move enough for how, for, like, how much she's moving. 
at her colors. So she's gray and green. I think she actually looks better under the water. Not really a pretty color. She's not, uh, she's not too good looking. But, uh, she, she did tame out a 101, so I guess I can't really complain. Let's get her some food. Om nom nom. Oh no, I overpassed it. Let's go for something bigger. Anyways, I'm gonna get her some food, and I'm actually gonna go find you guys a Europe Terrid, because, uh, I really want to see one of those, like, and that's the only thing I haven't seen yet. But yeah, this thing's pretty cool. I don't really see her as being much of a fighter, but definitely good for those underwater resources. You saw her gather that node. Holy shit, 46 oil from one node. So that's really good. That's a good sign. Um, I'll definitely like this better than running around the Arctic zone smacking oil with a pick. <laughs> so this will definitely be an improvement. Um, this will be really, really nice. I like that she is fairly small compared to the Moza and stuff. Like, um, she's a little easier to maneuver than the Moza. The Moza's kind of wonky. So is the Plesio. The Plesio's a little too fast for how wide of a turn they make, so they just kind of hit walls. But, um, yeah. So this is pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna go find one of those Europe Terrids. I looked up where they spawn, and, uh, I'll just head on over there. So, see you in a bit again. Okay, guys. Well, unfortunately, um, I have had no luck with finding any Europe Tards. Uh, apparently, they are extremely rare, and they only occasionally spawn somewhere in the ocean in groups of two to four. And I have not been lucky enough to find any, and I'm really tired. It's 3 a.m. So I'm just going to spawn one in to show you guys, because God knows when they'll pop up on my server. Um, and I don't have all night. <laughs> but I'll, uh, I'll go ahead, spawn one in, and show you. I'm a little disappointed that I have to do it like this. Actually, it makes me really sad. <laughs> and uh, I'm also sad because I found a really, like, pretty bright purple 120 anglerfish. It was level 120 and it ran away from me and I couldn't find it again. So, FML. Anyways, here we go. Broop. Oh, it's so cute! Ah! Can he not swim? No? I guess they can't swim upwards. Um, they're only aggressive if approached, so you can look at them from a distance, and it's only if you get too close to them that they, uh, want to bite your booty. So, in a way, it's like the, what is it, the Gigantopithecus? But, um, a little more aggressive, but it looks like they can't swim up, which is interesting. Hey! 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 Oh, they poison you! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> I didn't realize that they fucking poison you and knock you out in two hits. Holy shit. That's crazy. Wait, an axe, right? Oh, nothing. Interesting. Well, they're supposed to drop pearls. Let's see. It might be just a really rare chance. Let's try again. Damn, I was seriously not expecting it to knock me out that quick. That thing hurt really bad. That's really weird. They're not giving anything except for chitin. Try one more. Do I loot it? Yeah, no, I guess it's just a chance. Oh, there we go. There's some silica pearls. Um, occasionally, I guess you can get a black pearl off of them, as I mentioned at the beginning, and that is going to be an extremely rare item for future crafting, so pretty excited. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I literally had 10 jump cuts in this one. I counted. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. There's probably going to be more after editing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Have fun counting. I'm sorry, man. It's just like I've been kind of all over the place in this game trying to get everything situated. It's been a while. So um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, can't wait to see you guys in the next one. I appreciate all the support once again. Thanks for not giving up on me even though I was gone for like two weeks. So I uh, really do appreciate it, guys. Anyways, take care and I'll see you in the next one.